launched in February, a total of 4,056 built-to-order BTO flats were launched in Pongo, Clementi and Tampines. The original planned Woodlands project had been deferred because further reviews of the site conditions are required. This is the first exercise of 17,000 flats to be launched in 2017. The PTO flats range from 2 flexi to 3 gen flats. The wide selection of flats will meet different budget and needs. The price for these flats ranges from $81,000 for a 2 room flexi at Pongo's Waterway Sunrise 2 and North Shore Cove to $571,000 for a 5 room flat at Clementi North Up and Clementi Peaks, excluding grants. About 2,900 applicants applied for the 700 two-room flexi flats in Pongo. Under the Fresh Start program, families that once owned a subsidised HDB flat now live in public rental homes enjoy priority in buying two-room flexi flats on cheaper and shorter leases of 45 to 65 years. So why are BTO so popular? Because BTO flats are not built yet. They are newer than HDB resale flats. New flats have a fresh 99-year lease. This means that these flats have a longer lifespan than resale flats. Estates such as Amokyo could easily have leases with less than 70 years remaining. For resale flats, you will need to incur the additional hacking cost of tiles and existing spaces that might have built by the previous owner. The layout of a typical form video flat has also changed. Dining space has been moved into the living hall. This makes it more family friendly, especially during meal time. And the downside of the BTOs? BTOs takes about 3 years to be built, sometimes even longer if the main contractor delays the project. So couples would need to do a proper marriage planning prior to getting their dream homes. Due to land constraints in Singapore, newer flats tend to be smaller than older HDB flats too. Unless you are lucky, it is likely that the location of your selected BTO would not be your most ideal choice. This is because most of the prime locations are highly contested. HDB has also reported that about 2 in 5 BTO applicants invited to select did not book a flat. The top 3 reasons for their rejection include their preferred units have been taken up, their intention to apply for flats in other sales exercises, or them changing their minds and considering other housing options. About 18,000 BTOs have reached the end of their minimum occupation period MOP as at end 2016. This is 80% higher than the number of units that reached MOP in 2015. In the recent budget 2017, the government has offered more grants to move HDB resale market. Young couples buying a resale HDB flat for the first time will be enjoying higher subsidies of up to $50,000. And with the additional CPF housing and proximity housing grants, it would mean getting up to $110,000 in subsidies. Also, HDB resale flats offer you a place to stay once contract is signed and loan is approved. And the most common question that HDB buyers tend to have, is BTO cheaper than resale flats? SRS Valuation Team has done a detailed price analysis of each BTO launch, financing forecast, required down payment amount, median price comparison of BTOs and HDBs, and investment opportunities. We have also analysed the median prices of BTO versus resale in each HDB town. Check out srs.com.sg slash hdbbto if you are thinking of getting a BTO in future exercises. If you decide to get a HDB resale flat, you can also find out more about the floor plans, market X value, last transacted prices, and HDB performance trends. Just chat with Savvy, our artificial intelligent property chatbot. Savvy gives you smart property answers of HDB resale listings, floor plans, market X value, and HDB property trends. Chat with Savvy on Facebook Messenger, srs.com.sg, and stproperty.sg. Now, let's review the HDB performance for February 2017. In terms of price, overall, there was a decrease of 0.3% in HDB resale prices in February 2017 compared to that of January 2017. The resale prices of HDB 4 rooms, HDB 5 rooms and HDB executive decreased by 0.2%, 0.5% and 1.7% respectively, while that of HDB 3 rooms increased by 0.2%. Year on year, overall prices also decreased by 0.6% compared with February 2016. In February, prices increased by 0.4% in mature estates such as Amokyo, Bishan and Bukit Merah. In contrast, prices in non-mature estates such as Aokang, Sengkang and Pongo decreased by 0.8%. In terms of volume, according to HDB resale data compiled by SRX Property, 1,074 HDB resale flats sold in February 2017. 
The data shows that monthly volume decreased by 8.5% compared to 1,174 flats sold in January 2017. Which location had the highest median transaction over X value? Bedok posted the highest median TOX of positive $10,000. This means that the majority of the buyers in Bedok purchased units above the market X value. Which location had the lowest median transaction over X value? Queenstown posted the most negative median TOX at negative $12,500. This means that the majority of the buyers in Queenstown purchased units below the computer generated market X value. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this episode of XTV. Please join us next time when we highlight Singapore's private non-landed market. I'm Angela Toh. Have a good day.